What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that I mentioned in my previous video. We're going to be talking about nested scenes. In my previous video, I talk about creating audio sources, separating them within OBS without using voice meter. It's a fantastic video. You should definitely go watch it. I will put an info card here and a link in the description below. In that video, I talk about creating audio sources within a scene and using that scene as an audio sources scene within other scenes. It's just a scene within a scene. We call it nested scenes. And if you want to be crazy, you can add a scene within 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 a I just want you guys to know that that's the first time I've ever sang publicly in my entire life. I'm terrified of it so you're welcome i don't want to waste any more of your guys's time thank you so much for watching this video if after watching this video you need any help you know what to do join the discord server and my community is awesome they will help you let's jump into it there are two main reasons why you should be using nested scenes the first one is organization within OBS. Nested scenes make it a whole lot more organized. Not only does it bring you organization, but it actually gives you a little bit more leverage when you're doing creative things for your stream. Some of the things we're doing as streamers right now is creating interactive stream designs. We're using channel points in order to interact with our stream. We're using subscriptions and follows in order to interact with our stream. Some streamers like myself, we're using words. We're using specific words to create sounds or change our stream overlay. Things are getting very, very advanced. And this is one part or one element to up your game as a streamer and a user of OBS. So creating nested scenes is step numero uno of many steps in getting better as a streamer. What we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna create an audio sources scene. We're gonna walk through the setup process of that. And then we're gonna use that scene as the audio source for our other scenes. So first things first, we need to create a new scene. I'm gonna hit the plus button here. I'm going to name this audio sources and I'm gonna click okay. I've created my audio sources scene. You can ignore everything in yellow in the sources window here. Those are the things that I need in order to record this video. All we're gonna do is go through and add every single audio source that we use for our stream. And then we're going to put this audio sources scene in our other scenes. So first things first, we're gonna create our microphone source. I've done this already, but you'll create an audio input capture source and you can create it for your microphone. Before we do any of that, you're gonna wanna go to your settings. You're gonna wanna go to audio and you're going to want to make sure you have have every single one of these sources disabled you do not have anything set up here then what you can do is add in audio sources in the sources window if you're using voice meter to separate your audio sources that's completely fine if you don't know how to do that you can watch the video that is on the info card there link is also in the description below if you're not using voice meter and you want to separate your audio sources you can use this new plugin that I talked about in my previous video, which is also linked in the description below. It is a plugin that will allow you to create an audio source for every application that you have on your Windows desktop. That's what I'm gonna be using here. I'm gonna create a source for my browser. I've already done it. It's browser three here. If we take a look at the browser here, what I'm capturing is my chrome.exe um, application and that is going to pull in an audio source. If we go to my channel right now and we play Yo, some audio, this is the that audio will be playing in that, that browser this source. Thing could in fact. So same thing, I wanna go through and set up for my game, for my uh, communications like Discord or TeamSpeak and all that stuff and have all my audio sources in this scene here. After you have all your audio sources in the audio sources scene, what you're gonna do is hit the plus button here, go to scene, click add existing and add an audio sources scene. Now what I can do is actually remove the, the audio group that I have here. And now I have my microphone and my browser and other audio sources that I need captured from this audio sources source here, which is 
really incredible. That completes this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible without boring you guys. Let me know in the comment section below if the pace of this video was appropriate for you. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.